Are you ready, sir? Okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Please start with the roll call. Council President Corman. Here. Council Member Prince. Here. Council Member McIrvin. Here. Council Member O'Halloran. Here. Council Member Benedetti. Here. Council Member Vaughn. Here. And Council Member Perez. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all present. Thank you. Uh, tonight, first up, we have a proclamation. It's uh, Health Point Day. It's their 50th anniversary. Hey, proclamation. Whereas the city of Renton recognizes and supports local health care institutions and the services that they provide to the community. And whereas Health Point, a nonprofit community based network of health centers, is celebrating the 50th anniversary of its investment in the health of people and communities in Renton and King County. And whereas Health Point provides high quality integrated primary health care to all, regardless of ability to pay, and has 980 Health Point employees serving more than 100,000 patients and providing more than 350,000 visits a year because everyone deserves great care. And whereas the Health Point Administration Office has been in Renton since 2006, and Health Point has 20 locations in King County, including three in Renton, Renton Health Center, Sunset Neighborhood Center, and Renton High School. And whereas Health Point has worked with the City of Renton to improve the overall health of our community by providing medical, dental, and behavioral health services and pharmacy services in underserved areas, including the Sunset Neighborhood Center and the future Family First Community Center, and whereas Health Point's response to the COVID pandemic was extraordinary, including the transformation of an emissions check facility in Renton into a testing and vaccination site and developing a telemedicine practice to keep patients safe. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton, do hereby proclaim August 9th, 2021 to be Health Point Day in the City of Renton, and I encourage all citizens to join me in this special observance and witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Renton to be affixed this 9th day of August, 2021, signed Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton. Mr. Mayor. Council President Corman. I move the council concur in the proclamation. Second. Okay, it's been moved by council, uh, President Corman, seconded by council member McGurvin, that the council concur with the proclamation is read. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. And tonight joining us, we have Health Point CEO, uh, Lisa Yohalo. Lisa, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you so much um, for that uh, uh, recognition. Thank you to the mayor. Thank you to the Renton City Council members. It is absolutely my honor and privilege to accept this recognition on behalf of Health Point's board of directors and our entire Health Point team. As was proclaimed, we are celebrating 50 years of great care for the community. Our history began here in Renton in 1971 at a time when unemployment in our region was at 17% due to massive layoffs. There were long lines at food pantries and many thousands of people were struggling to meet basic needs, including healthcare. And at that time, a small group of caring community members, doctors, nurses, and community activists came together to start what would become Health Point out of a small apartment here in the city of Renton. And so here we are 50 years later, that caring tradition continues today as our team has helped people find health and hope during another very difficult time um, during our history. The past 18 months have been really challenging and I am so incredibly proud of our team who quickly responded and transformed care in the early days of the pandemic and continues to improve how we care for our communities each and every day. Their commitment, their compassion and resilience are truly remarkable. As our health point history shows us, no matter the circumstances, we find a way to care for our communities, always in service to healthier people, healthier families, and stronger, more equitable communities. At health point, we believe everyone deserves great care. Thank you again to the city of Renton for your support and partnership in our work. We look forward to the next 50. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I know the council knows this, but for everybody else out there, Health Point is is one of our partners in the uh, Family First Community Center. And we had 
We actually had a meeting today with one of the um, one of the primary sponsors and Doug Baldwin Foundation. So great. Um, yes, it's uh, we're looking looking forward to that, and and groundbreaking will be pretty soon. So you'll have four locations very soon. So we will. Yeah, and yeah. we are excited about that project as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Okay. Next up, we have administrative report. All right. Good evening, everyone. Please join the Renton Police Department on August 10th from 4 to 6.30 at Gene Coulon Park for their continuing pop-up with the COP series where they will be connecting with community, sharing information on crime prevention, and having fun with activities for the kids. The Police Department will also be at Thomas Teasdale Park on Friday, August 13th as part of the city's Night Out Neighborhood event. We look forward to reconnecting with you and strengthening their community relationships. Information about preventative street maintenance, traffic impact projects, and road closures happening this week can be found at rentonlaw.gov forward slash traffic. All projects are weather permitting and unless otherwise noted, streets will always remain open. That is your report. All right, thank you. Next up, we'll open up the remote audience comment period. It remains the strong intent of the city to have public comment regularly included on our agendas. Each speaker will be given five minutes to speak. You'll be called upon by a city staff member. The staff member will call the speaker's name and unmute the appropriate microphone, which will send an automatic prompt to the speaker of, you've been unmuted. This is the speaker's cue that it's their turn to speak. Please begin your comments by stating your name, city of residence, and the topic you are addressing. Speakers should be able to see a timer on the screen. Please finish up your comments when you see the time is close to expiring. And do we have anyone signed up? Mr. Mayor, we have no one signed up in advance to speak this evening. Uh, if there's oh. anyone in the audience that would like to address council, please uh, use your computer to raise your hand. Looks like we have one hand raised. Uh, Nancy Quinn. Nancy, go ahead. Hi, thank you, Mr. Mayor and City Council. Thank you for all you do. Um, I live in the Maplewood neighborhood right off of the Maple Valley Highway. And we are experiencing a tremendous amount of crime. You may remember that a few months ago, I asked that we have the West End looked at to close it. I haven't heard anything in a long time. Um, just to give you an example, in the last, in the last 72 hours, we've had two actual break-ins and one attempted break-in where a mother and two small children were home by themselves at eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. So my neighborhood is in panic. Last night, we had a lunatic running around on the Maple Valley Highway and no lights, no street lights. I called the emergency number for PSE. They weren't very helpful saying, we're gonna turn on, we'll have somebody look at it in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning, we've got a lunatic running around out there. Um, that same lunatic, because I've been canvassing my neighborhood with, um, we wanna restart our block watch, so we recognize that this is our responsibility to fix, um, but it's gonna take us some time, and in the meantime, we need some additional support. But I really want you guys to, re you know, to consider, I can't remember who it was that I was working with, but if you guys could get me through to the appropriate party to continue to work toward closing that part of the street, we think that that will inhibit people from being able to get into our neighborhood. So we're really, we're kind of in a crisis mode right now. Um, this has been going on for about three weeks and it's just getting increasingly worse. So um, again, thank you for all you do and any help you can provide us would be much appreciated. We've got 200 homes here. I've been to about a hundred of them in the last two days and um, everybody's really receptive to pitching in and, and doing what we need to do to support you supporting us. Okay, thank you. If you could stay on, stay on the line and we'll have a staff member get your information and we'll make sure to get back in touch with you. Terrific, thank you so much. And thank you all so much for what you do. Thank you. The next person we have is Krista. Krista, go ahead. Good evening, Mayor Pavoni and council members. I am calling in uh, from my cell phone, so I just wanna check, can you hear me? We yes. can hear you, yes. Okay, great. So uh, my name is Krista Strasba, and I'm here tonight supporting Kalani Bolton's family and as a member of Britain Residents for Change. Last year at this time, um, I believe it was August 3rd, the council passed resolution 4414, 
which adopts the 2021 to 2026 written business plan to quote, stand against racism in support of racial equity. Recently this year on May 17th, uh, myself and a group of uh, family members and residents supporting the Bolton family were on a call with you all and we requested the city support at that time for Kalani's family as she had passed due to medical racism right here in, races, in Renton. Uh, I'm here again tonight requesting that Mayor Pavoni uh, meets with Christina, the mother of Kalani and the team members that she designates. I believe some communication has fallen off there and then asking that um, the mayor and, and city administrators sort of rekindle that communication to make sure that meeting can happen. And then also I wanted to notify the group here tonight that um, Kalani's family has published a set of demands via a petition on change.org. You can search Breathe for Kalani. Her name is spelled K-A-L-O-N-I and an explanation point at the end. Um, there are three different demands um, focused at the hospital level, the city level, and the state level. But tonight specifically, I just wanted to draw attention to what the family would like from the city of Renton. Um, specifically, Kalani's mother, Christina, would like a visual memorial in honor of Kalani somewhere in the city. And the team would like the city to establish a Breathe for Kalani Day through official proclamation while allocating funds toward asthma prevention and care for local black community. I believe this is a really great opportunity for the council to apply the values you announced last year in the resolution, which again says, um, stand against racism in support of racial equity. Um, finally, and before I close, I think we're all aware that um, some of the energy that we had felt through the national uprising for black lives has changed as we have come through um, not just the pandemic of COVID-19, but um, as an awareness around the pandemic of racism has waned in some spaces. And I'm here as your constituent to ask that you continue um, to prioritize this issue there will be lots of people and um, places trying to get us back to normal, so to speak, and we know that normal wasn't working for a lot of our community, and no day is normal for Kalani's family anymore. This is a very real issue for them every day. And uh, we're hoping that you will respond as you did in May. I believe every single council member did respond to those public comments. That was much appreciated. And we're here again to follow through in action. So thank you. Breathe for Kalani. Okay, that looks like I don't. I see no other hands raised, Mr. Mayor. Okay, uh, Mr. Mayor, I do All right, have next up, we have the consent agenda. Uh, Mr. There are two items for council consideration. Mr. Mayor, can you hear me? Mr. Mayor. Yes. Uh, yes. It's Jason. Mr. Uh, I just have the the one uh, uh, correspondence tonight from. Uh, email to the council for citizen oh, comment correct. yes yeah and it's uh from a <laughs> mr okay okay it's for mr uh peter von brita and he's just uh concerned about uh noise levels at the airport especially uh as can be heard from the kennydale neighborhood That's okay all. thank you and we'll make sure uh somebody from the airport gets back in touch with him okay all right, now we are on to consent agenda. There are two items for council consideration. Um, Mr. Mayor? Yes, uh, Mr. President Gorman. I'd just like to ask if any council member would like either of these items removed for discussion. Um, seeing none, I move approval of the consent agenda as published. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council President Gorman, second by Council Member McGurvin, that the council uh, 
Concur with the consent agenda. Consent agenda is published. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay. Motion carries. Next up, we are on to unfinished business. Council President Corman. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, I have a committee of the whole report to present. Okay, one moment. Okay, I have it here. Uh, committee of the whole committee report. It's uh, authorization of the HB 159 project and program. Uh, the committee of the whole recommends the city council authorize the administration to proceed with the proposed projects described below. The budgetary impact will be completed in the next quarterly budget amendment. Uh, one commitment of 1.5 million to the Renton Housing Authority Sunset Gardens affordable housing project and to implement a behavioral health navigator program within the police department at an estimated annual cost of $180,000. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move the council concur in the committee of the whole report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council President Corman, seconded by Councilman McGurvin, that the council concur in the committee of the whole report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the Planning Development Committee has committee report. Okay, Planning Development uh, Committee committee report, multifamily housing property tax exemption agreement for the Sunset Terrace Apartments. The Planning and Development Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to one, waive the application deadline to allow the application to be submitted after receiving a building permit, two, approve the multifamily housing property tax exemption agreement, and three, authorize the mayor to execute said agreement in substantially the same form. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Prince. I move council concur with the Planning and Development Committee committee report. Second. Second. <laughs> okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Perez, that the council concur with the Planning and Development Committee report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank That's you. That's all, Mr. Thank you. Councilmember McGurvin. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Councilmember O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the Finance Committee has four committee reports. Okay, Finance Committee committee report. The first is approval of claims and payroll vouchers. Uh, the Finance Committee approves the following payments, accounts payable, uh, total payment of $6,505,083.21 for a number of uh, vouchers and payroll benefit withholding vouchers and two wire transfers. And two, payroll, a total payment of $1,566,516.37 for payroll vouchers, including 630 direct deposits and 30 checks. This is for the July 1st through July 15th pay period. Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran. I move the council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Prince, that the council concur with the Finance Committee report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, the next report is regarding 2021 summer special event fee waivers. Uh, the Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the requested waiver of $2,485 in open space rentals, boat launch, day passes, and permit fees for community events in summer of 2021. And Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran. I move that the Council concur with the Finance Committee committee report. Second. It's been moved by Council Member O'Halloran, second by Council Member Prince. The Council concur with the Finance Committee reports. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, the next. Carries. Thank you. The next report is regarding a grant from the Washington Parks and Recreation Association. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the grant agreement for $25,155 with the Association of Washington City subject to approval as to form by the City Attorney Department and allocate grant funds to the City of Renton Recreation and Neighborhoods Division. 
And Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran. I move that the council concur with the Finance Committee Committee Report. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Halloran, second by Council Member Prince, that the council concur, concur with the Finance Committee Report. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Okay, the final report is regarding the compensation of a digital communication specialist. Uh, staff had recommended authorizing compensation of the selected candidate for the digital communication specialist at step D, grade A17. However, the selected candidate has withdrawn from consideration. Therefore, this referral is closed. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Council Member Halloran. I move Council concur with the closure of this request. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Halloran, seconded by Council Member Prince, that the uh, Finance Committee report be referral be closed. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Council Member Benedetti. I have no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. All right, Council Member Van. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Council Member Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. All right. We have no legislation tonight, so we're on to new business. Council President Corman. Uh, yes, okay, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'd like to, before I ask my meetings, um, um, make, make a motion and, and uh, just do a little explanation first. Um, um, what I had brought up uh, last week's meeting about the um, the Rent and Fire Authority Board, um, the, the terms and the idea of potentially staggering the terms. Um, and for anybody listening, uh, just to remind them, the Fire Authority is a separate authority from the City of Renton, but three council members serve on their board to, to keep that linkage. And um, the last time uh, three of us went on all started at the same time um, but so i want to thank council member perez for the, the initial suggestion to me that you know i recommend that these be staggered terms um, and then i want to thank you mr mayor uh, we had a good conversation during the week um, where we we talked notionally about the idea of of having them be three-year terms and with uh, my retirement from council this year i'm going off after two years so somebody could come in and take my term this year. Um, the other two council members, um, uh, council member uh, McGurvin and Perez could decide which one of the two of them would go off uh, next year. And then uh, if one of them just stays one extra year, perhaps we could you know, start the rotation that way. Um, but anyways, notionally that was the idea, but uh, I would like to, with that, I would move the issue of the RFA governance board appointments be referred to the administration for the purpose of establishing three-year staggered terms and assigning position numbers. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council President Corman, seconded by Council Member Perez, that it be referred to the administration to assign position numbers and look at staggered three-year terms for um, serving on the RFA board. All in, the, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Okay, thank, thank you very much for that. Yeah, thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. Mayor. And then, um, let's see, I'd also like to announce um, uh, for uh, a couple of meetings for August 16th, that's a Monday, a week from today, at 6.15, we have uh, um, committed the whole meeting uh, via video conference. One item on that agenda is the allocation of lodging tax funding for 2021. And then uh, seven o'clock, we have our regular council. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Council Member Prince. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. On uh, Monday, August 16th at 2 p.m., uh, the Planning and Development Committee will meet by video conference. There are four items on the agenda. Uh, Docket 16, Group B update. Rainier Grady Junction sub area plan update, housing action plan update, and emerging issues in CED. That's all, Mr. Mayor. All right. Thank you. Councilmember McGurvin. 
Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's going to be busy on Monday, August 16th, because the Transportation Committee will also be meeting uh, at 5.15 p.m. Uh, via video conference as well. Uh, we have two items on the agenda. Uh, one, letter of understanding with Flatiron Lane joint venture related to design changes at the four, I-405 and North 44th Street interchanges, and second, emerging issues in transportation. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Councilmember Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor, on Monday, the 16th, August 16th, at 1.15 via video conference, the Finance Committee will be meeting. We have two items on the agenda, vouchers and emerging issues in finance. Thank you. All right. Councilmember Benedetti. Uh, we're going to be burning up the Zoom screens on uh, Monday, August 16th, aren't we? Um, yes, I'd like to announce, Mr. Mayor, that um, at 4.15 p.m. on the 16th of August, the Utilities Committee will be meeting via video conference. We have two items on the uh, agenda. Ratification of the 2021 WRIA9 Salmon Habitat Plan update and emerging issues in utilities. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Councilmember Ben. Um, no new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Councilmember Perez. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And with this, all committees except one will be meeting on Monday. I am gonna announce that Public Safety Committee will also will be meeting on August 16, 2021 at 3.15 via video conference. There are three items on the agenda. The first one is community input for police recruiting. The second one is RFA briefing, and the last one will be emerging issues in public safety. Okay. What is the wish of the council? Move we adjourn. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, second by Councilmember Corman that we adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody want to stick around? Say no. Oh, great. Thank you all very much. Have a great week and we are adjourned. Bye.